Before I get started into why I get to talk to you today, uh, I definitely have to ask, are, is Naked Gun going to be in your future? Is that something that might actually happen? Uh, yes, we're uh, waiting on a script. Um, but yeah, we're hoping it'll happen this year, maybe in the summertime. You know? Oh, so this is like a real go project, uh, like something yes. a priority. Yeah, Paramount Studios, I think. They approached Seth MacFarlane. Uh, he and his team are working on a, a script. So, yeah, we're hoping to go in the summertime, you know. I absolutely want this to happen. So, fingers well, crossed. That'll be the end of my career, I'd say, you know. <laughs> no, I, th I think it'll... Oh. No, uh, I, I think this could be a great one. Um, so jumping into why I get to talk to you, um, what did it mean? Like, this is your hundredth film. And uh, and what's cool about it is it gets to be a role like Marlowe, which is just, you know, it's Marlowe. Um, yeah. So what did it mean to you to be able, like for the hundredth movie, to be a character like this? I mean, if I go back to being a child many, many years ago in the north of Ireland and uh, Sunday afternoon, watching a film noir, I, I remember, especially Bogart, The Big Sleep, I think it was. And uh, I, I was intrigued. I couldn't at that age follow the stories, but there was something magical about it, you know? Shadowy figures, murky, shady characters and stuff that, that really attracted me, you know? So to get the chance to play Philip Marlowe, you know, along with... Uh, Bob Mitchum, Robert Mitchum, and I idolized Elliot Gould and, and Bogart, of course. It's, I feel very honored, you know, and to get a chance to work with Neil Jordan again. This is our fourth film together. Yeah, one of the things I love about the genre is that everyone that's on screen, you don't know. Ultimately, they're all shades of gray. You just yeah. don't know if they're good, they're bad, what their ultimate motivation is. Yeah. So I'm curious for you when you're reading a script like that, uh, what is it like? Uh, and how much are you told in advance, you know, exactly what's going to happen? And how much is Neil telling you, hey, or, you know, uh, William Monaghan saying to you, just just read it? Well, I knew Bill's work from, obviously, Scorsese's The Departed. And he scripted a film I was in about uh, the Crusades uh, called Kingdom of Heaven. So I, I, I know Bill is a very, very top class fine writer. And so when I heard that and Neil is a terrific writer too. I mean, he usually writes and directs his own stuff. But the fact that he and Bill Monaghan were together working on the plot, you know, was just too good to be true. And I think from from the original script that Neil uh, that uh, Bill had done, I'm sure you know it's based on The Black Eyed Blondes by John Banville, a uh, wonderful writer, Irish. And, uh, um, so I, I know Neil was keen to, I think Bill had set it in the 1950s, or the novel was set in the 1950s, forgive me. Um, but Neil wanted to play with the 30s and, and, and bring Hollywood into it, you know, 1938, 39, you know. Um, and that just made the, the script very, very rich and had lots of levels to it, you know, along with the crime aspect, you know. Well, one of the things I think the film does well is casting people like uh, actors, you know, in supporting roles. So you really don't know who the person or people could be that are pulling the strings. That's good. That's good, isn't it? You know, uh, it's uh, and it's I personally love that scene in a, a movie. Think, oh, I know him from this. Oh, I, I've seen her in this. And and you're right. So it, it does raise the ante thinking he's the killer. No, no, no. Maybe she is. Maybe they're in league together or something, you know. I'm a big fan of Colm Meany, and you got to work with him on this. And I think you're working with him in The Land of Saints and Sinners. We've done um, that, yeah. I've known Colm for in theater days in Ireland over 40 years ago, you know. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of his work. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm a fan from Star Trek, but, you know, he I'm just a really big fan of his work. So yeah. can you talk a little bit about working with him? Because he's like, he comes across as a very no-nonsense guy. Absolutely. But... Look, as I say, I've known Colin for over 40 years, you know, uh, or theatre days in Dublin, you know. Um, so I was thrilled when Neil told me he was going to be cast in the part, you know, as the police detective. And he's he's no nonsense, but we still 
you know, between setups, we'll share jokes or we'll talk about someone in Ireland that we both knew that may have passed away or has got remarried or something like that. And then, you know, the camera's rolling action, you know, column just <laughs> straight into it, you know. I love that. I love that. It's just a lovely ease and professionalism too, of course, you know. But he's terrific, Colin. Really. I know that there's two films I believe you've shot already, which is Retribution and In the Land of St. Sinners. Yes. The Retribution one sounds cool because it's all in one car. Uh, it's, you know, uh, can you talk about both of those roles and what drew you to those projects? Um, well, Retribution, I'd work with the producers. Um, oh, we've done three films together. And uh, I was shooting again in, in Berlin, uh, which is a city I love. And, you know, I've done trains, uh, airplanes. It was time to do something in a car, you know. So I spent like 95% of the movie in a car with my two kids in the back seats, you know. Uh, and, of course, there's a, a, a bomb under my car seat, which I, if I get up, move or if the kids get up and move it's the end of the movie you know so uh it was exciting and, and very interesting to to play a thriller like that where i'm literally almost immobile you know uh it was certainly a challenge um but yeah it's coming out at some point this year uh in the land of saints and sinners it's uh set we we shot it in donegal uh, with my dear best friend, Pierre Nines, uh, who you may remember from Belfast and a zillion yeah. other things. Um, and Paul, Paul's in it too. And, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, we finished it last year towards the end of May. Um, I think it'll be a good film, yeah. Uh, Robert Lorenz that I'd worked with before in a film called The Marksman, he directed it. Good script and a uh, bit of action, different sort of action, you know, set in Northern Ireland in the 70s, you know, when things were very, very tough, and very challenging. I have to wrap with you there. I'm just going to say, sir, it is a pleasure to talk with you as always. Too, and sir. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Steve. 